don't yell at me. Please wait, I'll explain. If you guys have been keeping up with my hair journey, you would have seen that in episode one, I showed you guys how much beautiful, long, thick, luscious hair I used to have and how much I loved it, but how much I wanted it to be white blonde. And that worked fine for years. And then all of a sudden from a bleaching disaster and I don't know what else, it started falling out in chunks and clumps, right? And the pieces that it would tear to was like three inches, like frat boy Chad's pee pee. And then I showed you guys that I was trying to heal my hair by adding in like a wig topper, like a little halo piece that just stayed at the top. I bought clip-in hair extensions. I bought like a toupee, all of this stuff that I thought would help my hair and like let it heal. And then in episode two, I showed you guys some treatments I was doing. Um, and then in week three, <laughs> <laughs> Things went a little crazy and I did something that a lot of you said not to do. I got keratin hair extensions. So if you follow me on Patreon, there's a link down in the description box. I share kind of like things weeks and months before I actually share them here. So if you want the inside scoop, it's down there. On my Patreon, you can find things like the time a guy flew me out. Ooh, fancy. So if you want like a diary of my life, like all my secrets, I literally pour my feelings out on there. So that's linked in my description box. But um, I told you guys that I got a chance to be in a movie which was so cool. Um, I can't show you much, but I can show you what's on their Instagram. So like. They did my hair and makeup, which was cool. Um, it was no makeup makeup, which was terrifying. But also, this is at the point where my hair was looking like this, naturally. <laughs> and I was like, ah, I don't want everybody on the planet to see that my hair fell out and I have a bald chunk in the back of my head. So I talked to my hairdresser and I was like, what do we do? Like, are we gonna be able to wear the wig? Should I get a different wig? Like, what can we do to solve this situation? And she's like, well, hun, I love you, but they're gonna be able to see the wig piece, especially the piece here. The HD cameras are going to be able to notice it, pick it up, like it might make you feel uncomfortable. I cried about it. I told my managers about it. I cried to them about it. Um, I cried to the hair and makeup people about it. And then I decided to stop crying, Walnut. You can fix this and figure it out. You are given such a cool chance and opportunity. Do not let it slip away. Do not mom spaghetti the situation. Do not let those flaccid spaghetti noodles slide out of your hands, okay? Because you need them. <laughs> So I got myself together and I was like, okay, I will get hair extensions. Everything you guys told me not to do. Today is a really crazy day because I'm going to go get beaded hair extensions put in. Right now I'm wearing the toupee piece I showed you guys on episode two. I'm pretty nervous to get the beaded hair extensions though because I've heard they rip out your hair. But if you guys are interested in watching the process, uh, seeing how it works, how much it costs, and to see if there's any more damage in my hair on week four, I'm excited to show that to you guys. Um, I also know that a lot of people have beaded hair extensions or tape and hair extensions, so I think it'll be cool to show all the different types of hair stuff we can do in this series. So I hope you're really enjoying it. I think my hair is doing a lot better. Um, it's a little bit longer from last week like a millimeter okay it's not that exciting I do have a hole in my head okay not only in my brain but also in my hair apparently so um, now I'm gonna go to the hair salon I'll take you guys with me. pack a big bag today because I have to edit while I'm there so I need to bring this whole thing <sighs> yes fashion fashion my outfit okay I need to put on <laughs> But before I show you guys the next part, I do have to thank today's sponsor, which is Magic Spoon. You guys know that I normally don't eat cereal because it's one of those like snack foods that doesn't make me full. I'm literally hungry two hours later. I don't need something sugary and empty in my stomach. But this cereal helps all my issues. My favorite flavor is actually the frosted one. Look at how much I've eaten. Mm -hmm. And then the other one I like is the peanut butter one. 
They also have a fruity flavor and a cocoa flavor. I love this cereal because in every serving they have zero sugar, 14 grams of protein, and four net carbs, which is like the craziest macros for cereal I've ever heard of. It's keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, low carb, and GMO free. If you guys are wondering what's in these cereals, they're made out of a milk protein blend. Look at it right here in my face. Hi. If you guys do want to check out Magic Spoon, there will be a link down in the description box if you do want to check it out. And Magic Spoon 100% stands behind their products. So if you don't like it, there's a 100% money back guarantee, which is awesome because you get to no risk try a new food, which could be really good for you, which I like. It's good. It's good cereal. It's good cereal. <laughs> so I went to my hairdresser and I got three or 400 pieces of individual keratin bead hair extensions and I'll tell you guys how these work in case you ever get these or you want them. Um, so basically what they do is they take your hair, you can have literally this much hair, it doesn't matter how much hair you have. They will first separate that piece of hair, then with like some kind of keratin thing, it literally feels like glue, they will bead each piece slightly and then tighten it with a hot iron and then that piece will be attached to your hair. So then you get all these beautiful long pieces of hair and it covers up anything. I'm wearing them now, not styled. It's been like a week and they're just here hanging out. I was so thankful that my hairdresser put so much time and effort into this because it literally took like six hours of like four people doing my hair. I, honestly, I was just like, guys, I just have like a side roll of me screaming like, <laughs> but anyway. Guys, so we're halfway done with my extensions right now. This is how they look like this. They're not really like too uncomfortable, so I like it. This is like the length. We're gonna cut it a bit, but they're doing such a great job and I really love everyone at the salon and I feel so comfortable here. Cute look, huh? <laughs> so the hair extensions aren't actually like pinned straight. They dry like normal hair. They act like normal hair. They have a little bit of a crimp in them. I put in an obscene amount of hair because I wanted to have as much hair as I used to have. I wanted to feel comfortable in my hair. And for every piece of hair that I had, they put in a hair extension. Um, yeah, I don't like... Now, <laughs> they looked so beautiful, and in that moment, I felt so confident and happy and, like, excited for, like, a fresh new start. Hi, it was raining outside, but this is how my extensions look. And here start the problems. I thought I was just gonna get these hair extensions in for this like roll, and after that I'd be like, okay, cool, I'm gonna take them out and go back to my wig topper. I don't wanna take them out. They make me feel pretty. Uh, they make me feel more confident and secure because I literally wake up with them attached to my head. Like I have a whole wig attached to my head at all times right now and I like it. Um, the negatives of the keratin hair extensions that I got, I, I don't know if my hair can grow underneath them, which really worries me. Like have I just put myself in a sudden death catch 22 situation where my hair is not gonna grow anymore, I'm never gonna get my thick hair back, or is it gonna help my hair grow and I could take them out and take them out and have long hair? I, I don't know. If you've ever had keratin hair extensions, please let me know what your experience is down below. Or if you're a hairdresser, please let me know if you've ever had a client with really short hair that's worn keratin hair extensions and now she can take them out and have long hair. Um, the other thing is, is that they're extremely heavy. The first couple days, 
I literally could not wash my hair. I only wash my hair once a week. I couldn't wash my hair because it was so heavy when the water came on it that I literally held it up like this while I was in the shower and I was like shampooing and I held it when I was conditioning because I don't want it to tear out my real hair because I was so nervous about it and it hurt my head like crazy. I couldn't sleep good. I had a headache. Like this is like literally three pounds of hair. Like whose hair is this? I don't know. Some horse? Probably. <laughs> I also think what makes this worse is that I thought it was just gonna be the pieces in the back that fell out. It was just like this chunk that was kind of centralized and it was about like, you know, three inches, pretty thick. But I feel like lately more of my hair has been falling out to this length. Like the pieces in the front are also becoming this short. So I'm just hoping that all of my hair doesn't rip out to this length because it's really short. And honestly, I'm just really worried that that's what it's going to do um, because that makes me really anxious because in that case if my hair really is all two inches long then I just like I really do feel like I'm just going to keep wearing the hair extensions because I don't want short hair because it just it makes me feel less feminine it makes me feel like less pretty like less lovable and that's so horrible to think like oh i need long hair to be pretty like you know you know what i've noticed i've never seen an old lady with really long hair and i wonder if that's just because they get like done with dealing with their hair their whole lives or because like hair gets shorter as you get older because like when i get old am i also gonna have hair extensions like when i'm 65 am i gonna have hair extensions <laughs> <laughs> or am I just gonna be so done with it by then that I'll just be like, fine, short hair it is. Have you guys seen a grandma with long hair? I literally, I can't think of one. I'm gonna Google, <laughs> CRV. <laughs> now, like I was supposed to take them out after I finished the thing, but now I have to go shoot in LA something with my friends and I don't wanna take them out because I'm scared. Um, but I'm just worried that now I'm in a situation where my hair is never gonna grow back. I'm gonna have hair extensions for years. And now I'm stressed and I would appreciate it if anyone had any advice. I wish my hair could just grow back instantaneously. And for everyone saying that it's just hair and I should shave it off, if I shaved my hair off, I would go into such a deep depression. I don't think people understand how much my hair meant to me. It was my everything. It was like my, my life, you know? Like if someone was like, cut your hair, like it meant more to me than any other boyfriend ever has him. 